Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 1.1 exponential models. 1.1 represents chapter 1, section 1 of the Pearson A level maths applied maths year 2 textbook. And what is an exponential model? An exponential model is a model for which the graph rises rapidly or depreciates rapidly with respect to an increase in the independent variable. So I'll be taking these two models and I'll be transforming it into a linear model, starting off with this model over here. The very first step, ladies and gents, is to apply logs on both sides. So I've got log y is equal log ax to the power n. Now ax to the power n is equivalent to writing a multiplied by x to the power n. So what we can do is split this log into two parts using the multiplication rule for logs. So I can write log a plus log x to the power n. Now you can use the power rule for logs to bring down this power n in front of the log. I can write n log x. Now if I use a change in variables, I can rewrite this particular equation so that it looks like an equation of a straight line. I can call the log y capital Y, the log a capital C, and the log x capital X. So now I've got an equation of the form capital Y is equal to capital C plus n multiplied by capital X, which can be rewritten as n multiplied by capital X plus capital C. Now, the gradient of this particular straight line will be n. The y-intercept of this particular straight line will be capital C. Is the capital C, but that capital C, ladies and gents, is my log A. Let's have a look at exponential model. Again, we need to apply logs on both sides. So I can write log y is equal log kb to the power x. This kb to the power x is the same as writing k multiplied by b to the power x. So we can split this log into two parts using the multiplication rule for logs. So I can write log y is equal log k plus log b to the power x. I can bring down the power x in front of the log using the power rule for logs. So I can write x log b. Now I'm going to be using change in variables to rewrite this particular equation so that it looks like an equation of a straight line. I can call the log y capital Y. I can call the log k capital C and I can call the lowercase x capital X. Why is the lowercase x capital X and not the log b? Now ladies and gents, x is a variable, it's changing. Log b is a constant. Why? Because in the question you are told that b is a constant, so log b is a constant. So your capital X needs to be the lowercase x, which is our what? A variable, something that's changing. Okay, so and now we have an equation of the form y, okay, to be precise, capital Y is equal capital C plus capital X log B. Now I'm going to rewrite this as capital Y is equal log B capital X plus capital C. So for this particular equation, my gradient is going to be the coefficient of capital X which is log B and my y-intercept is going to be capital C which is log K. So we've got this model transformed into a linear model and this exponential model transformed into a linear model. Let's have a look at example number one. Data are coded using capital Y is equal to log Y and capital X is equal to log X to give a linear relationship. The equation of the regression line for the coded data is capital Y is equal to 1.2 plus 0.4 multiplied by capital X. 
Part A, state whether the relationship between y and x is of the form y equal ax to the power n or y equal kb to the power x. Part B, write down the relationship between y and x and find the values of the constants. Let's have a look at part A. State whether the relationship between y and x is of the form y equal ax to the power n or y equal kb to the power x. To find the correct relationship, we need to start off with capital Y is equal to 1.2 plus 0.4 capital X. So I've got capital Y is equal to 1.2 plus 0.4 capital X. The coding used in this question is capital Y is equal to log Y and capital X is equal to log X. So I can replace the capital Y with log Y and the capital X with log X. Now I take a step back and I say to myself, okay, what form does this equation follow? Is it form 1 or is it form 2? So if I start comparing, ladies and gents, I can see that this equation follows form 1. The log A is 1.2. The N is 0 0.4. Because this equation follows form 1, we can conclude that the relationship between y and x will be of the form y equal ax to the power n. Moving on to part b. Write down the relationship between y and x and find the values of the constants. Okay, so we need to start off with this particular equation and express it in the form y equal ax to the power n, working out the value of the constant a and the value of the constant n. So I've got log y is equal to 1.2 plus 0.4 log x. I need to make y the subject. The first step is to take the 0.4 log x to the left hand side, giving me log y minus 0.4 log x is equal to 1.2. I can't use the division rule for logs at the moment because I've got the 0.4 in front of the log. I need to use the power rule to rewrite this term. So if I use the power rule, I can write minus log x to the power 0.4. Now we can combine these two logs using the division rule. So if I use the division rule for logs, I get log y over x to the power 0.4 is equal to 1.2. Now the base over here is not written. In statistics, we usually take base 10. So you can write log base 10. Inside the bracket, you've got y over x to the power 0 0.4 equal 1.2. Now, we can rewrite this particular logarithmic equation as an exponential equation. So we have the base is 10, you raise it to the power 1.2 and you set it equal to what you have inside the bracket. So 10 to the power 1.2 is equal to y over x to the power 0 0.4. So if I make y the subject, I get y is equal 10 to the power 1.2 multiplied by x to the power 0 0.4. So if I start comparing this with this, I can see that a will equal 10 to the power 1.2 and the n will equal 0 0.4. Let's have a look at example number two. Data are coded using capital Y is equal to log Y and capital X is equal to X to give a linear relationship. The equation of the regression line for the coded data is capital Y is equal to 0 0.4 plus 1.6 capital X. Part A, state whether the relationship between Y and X is of the form Y equal AX to the power N or Y equal KB to the power X. Part B, write down the relationship between Y and X and find the values of the constants. Let's have a look at part A. State whether the relationship between y and x is of the form y equal ax to the power n or y equal kb to the power x. To find the correct relationship, we need to start off with capital Y is equal to 0 0.4 plus 1.6 capital X. So we have capital Y is equal to 0 0.4 plus 1.6 capital X. The coding used for this particular question is capital Y is equal to log y and capital X is equal to x. So I can replace the capital Y with log Y 
and the capital X with X. Now I take a step back and I say to myself, right, what form does this particular equation follow? Is it form one or is it form two? So if I start comparing, ladies and gents, I can see that this particular equation will follow form two. The log k is 0 0.4. The log b is 1.6. Because this particular equation follows form 2, we can conclude that the relationship between y and x will be of the form y equal kb to the power x. Moving on to part b. Write down the relationship between y and x and find the values of the constants. So we need to start off with this particular equation and express it in this particular form. So I've got log y is equal 0 0.4 plus 1.6x. My target is to make y the subject. First of all, the base of this logarithm is not written. In statistics, we usually take the base to be 10. So I can write log base 10 of y is equal to 0 0.4 plus 1.6x. X. Now I can rewrite this particular logarithmic equation as an exponential equation. The base is 10. I raise it to the power 0 0.4 plus 1.6x and I set that equal to y. So I've got 10 to the power 0 0.4 plus 1.6x is equal to y. Right, I'm not there yet. I need to express this in the form y equal kb to the power x. Now I can use the multiplication rule for laws of indices to split this particular term as 10 to the power 0 0.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 1.6x. Okay, so I've got 10 to the power 0 0.4 in brackets and I've got 10 to the power 1.6x in brackets. If you go back to this form over here, we need the power x applied to the b. So what we can do is use the bracket law for indices. I can take out the power x over here. So I can write y equal 10 to the power 0 0.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 1.6. I can take out the x. I can put it over here. Right, so that there is of the form y equal kb to the power x. So if I start comparing, I can see that the value for k would therefore be 10 to the power 0 0.4 and the value for b will be 10 to the power 1.6. Here is an exam style question. The heights 8 centimetre and masses mkg of a sample of Galapagos penguins are recorded. The data are coded using y equal log m and x equal log h and it is found that a linear relationship exists between x and y. The equation of the regression line of y on x is y equals 0 0.0023 plus 1.8x. Find an equation to describe the relationship between m and h, giving your answer in the form m equal a h to the power n, a and n are constants to be found. Okay. Right, so firstly we start off with this particular relationship. We have y equals 0 0.0023 plus 1.8x. Now the coding used for this particular question is y equal log m and x equal log h. So I can replace the y with log m equal 0 0.0023 plus 1.8. I can replace the x with log h. Right. I need to make m the subject. So first of all, I take the 1.8 log h to the left hand side to give me log m minus 1.8 log h is equal to 0 0.0023. I can't use the division rule for logs at the moment because I've got the 1.8 in front of the log. So I can rewrite this term using the power rule. This gives me log m minus log h to the power 1.8 is equal to 0 0.0023. Now I can combine these two logs using the division rule for logs to give me log in bracket m over h to the power 1.8 is equal to 0 0.0023. 
In statistics, we usually take base 10. So over here, I can write base 10. Right, so the base is 10. I raise it to the power 0 0.0023, and I set it equal to what I have inside the bracket. So I've got 10 to the power 0 0.0023 is equal to m over h to the power 1.8. So now I can make m the subject. So if I make m the subject, I get m is equal 10 to the power 0 0.0023 multiplied by h to the power 1.8. So this is of the form m is equal to a h to the power n. So if I start comparing, I can see that the a is equal to 10 to the power 0 0.0023 and the n is equal to 1.8. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.